Hey everyone, my name is Pavan and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I wanted to talk about energy vampires. Energy vampires are the people who drain your energy, who suck the energy out of you. And this term that we are using, it is not to judge someone, it is not to put others down. We are trying to understand energy and we are trying to protect ourselves. We are trying to protect our own energy. And the thing is that some people never work on healing themselves. We come into this human life and we experience trauma. We all experience that in some way or form. We all get hurt and some choose to heal, some choose to grow from it. But there are people who don't do that. And you might have heard the saying, hurt people hurt others. And if you are not a giver, you will be a taker in this world. Because this world is in survival. There is a lot of narcissism in it. And if you don't open your heart, if you don't heal yourself, chances are you will just follow the herd and what the herd is doing. So it's very rare that you find people who are working on themselves, who are healing themselves and who are not getting energy from other people. So this is the case with energy vampires. They are the people who have gone into the extreme of taking energy from others. They have no empathy, no compassion. They have a lot of narcissism, self-centeredness. All they think is about themselves. So what can you do to protect your energy? That's the point, because that's what you can control. And the only thing that you can do is to distance yourself. A lot of times they are in our family. They can be relatives. They can be your acquaintance, friends. So when you have to deal with them on an everyday basis, you have to create really strong boundaries. You have to know really strongly who they are. You can't just pretend, you can't be fake with them. You have to understand this. Because they will sneak in, into you. They are really good at controlling people, manipulating them. So that's why distancing yourself should be a priority. As much as possible, do that. The second thing is creating boundaries. If you can't cut off, you can't distance yourself, you can't meet once a year with them, then create boundaries. Boundaries mean that in your mind, in your head, it is clear who they are and you behave with them accordingly. You don't allow them to define who they are by their words, even their false actions. They don't influence you because you know who they are. A lot of times we repeat the same mistake again and again because it somehow think no, no, they are not like that. And then again, they reveal themselves and they reveal again and they keep doing that. So stop lying to yourself. Set those boundaries because you require them in order to protect yourself and in order to be who you are. The problem is that they don't have any boundaries. They will just keep taking your energy. They will just keep taking and taking and you will keep giving because you don't know how to say no. Boundaries is like learning how to say no. And one more important thing is to stop pleasing people. Stop being nice to them. This nice guy image will not work with the energy vampires. It's like helping them to drain you. It's working for them and it's working against you. So don't worry about what they will think of you. Don't worry that they will judge you. Focus on your own energy. Protect yourself from them. Everyone will not be for you. So just be genuine. Be real. As much as possible with them. Because the moment you become inauthentic, the moment you go into the nice guy, people pleasing image, they pick up on that. And they will start manipulating you instantly. You will feel drained. Another thing that you can do when you are drained is to recharge your energy, do the things which give you energy because it has been taken. But your best approach should be that you don't let it get drained. But even if somehow that happens, do the things that give you energy, meditate, slow down in your life, put yourself first. A lot of times we fall into their traps is because we never put ourselves first. We have been conditioned like that. So self-love is not selfish. Choose yourself, take care of yourself. And the more you do that, 
the more you embody that energy the more you harness your energy the more you will realize that why am i allowing others to drain it the more powerful you will become so be aware of energy vampires and they will affect your vibration your energy so protect your energy i hope you enjoyed this video please like comment share and make sure to subscribe see you in the next video much love to you all